Tonight, along the Texas Gulf Coast, utter devastation. Entire blocks are decimated. We are going to see days of heavy rain, exactly what we've seen kind of overnight. This is going to be unlike anything they have ever seen in terms of flooding. In fact, the forecast models really don't even know what to do with this thing. Families, when they began to return to the community, were so devastated because many of them had very little to begin with. But the little that they had, they began to lose. And it was very frightening for them. And cleanup uh, in Fifth Ward was very different than cleanup in other parts of the city of Houston. More than 50% of the families there lived below poverty. When we have a large rental population, people are also even more vulnerable because they're having to leave and find other housing, and that was not as easy. When we saw the rain start, we started saying, what are we going to do to help? I think NHS in Los Angeles was uniquely prepared to respond to Hurricane Harvey because we've lived through disaster a number of times in different types. And that makes a big difference when a group is trying to respond effectively during a disaster response. The first thing I did was reach out to my VP, Kathy. Is there any possible way we can get donations from the community and see how we can send it over to Houston? I reached out to Kathy immediately and said, look, I'm praying for you. I know what y'all are dealing with at this point. Um, if you need anything specific that you can think of, drop a line and let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out. NHS of Southern Nevada had a relationship with Caesars and Bally's and had conversations with them to talk about how we could use this furniture. Caesars Entertainment came to me and said, hey, what do you guys do with the furniture when you renovate a hotel room? Came up with the idea of donating to our community, sold it to Caesars Entertainment Corporation. They're like, go for it. Free reign, you got this. The cool thing about um, Caesars Entertainment is that when you're working with socially motivated people, she truly made it happen. Oh my gosh. See, this is a nice chair. And so Fifth Ward CRC coordinated and accepted eight tractor trailer loads of furniture. NHS of Los Angeles as well as uh, Southern Nevada both rallied their teams and these teams actually covered their own expenses to come down and help us. There was a line down the street, around the corner, I want to say at least over 200 people. Um, there was a DJ going on. The impact, talk about a humbling experience. It was pretty, it was awesome. Half my finance team was there, half of our administrative staff was there, a couple of our construction guys. So we, you know, kind of got the core crew. Once they got there, each of the team members took on a major area to help co supervise, co-lead, and so I think that that mattered quite a bit for that work day. When you're dealing with a, a crisis like this, um, resources are critical. They're tough to come by. They're very limited in nature, um, but what I find to be valuable as being a member of this network is if it comes to the NeighborWorks Network, we're held accountable for receiving those funds, doing what we said we were going to do with those funds. And, and I think what's most important is just knowing that this network is focused on helping people. It's on strengthening the communities that they live in, but it's really about investing in those people in those communities as well. My hope and prayer is that with this wonderful partnership with you guys is that this program becomes a footprint for others and a, and a model for others to take on in my industry. I'm so grateful for this partnership. I could go on for months on how we've been able to affect families in such a positive way. It took a storm to help us increase the awareness around the needs of this community. 
For me, what was most surprising and was most fulfilling was to see how sensitive the volunteers of NeighborWorks America were. They offered hope, and a lot of times people just need that level of encouragement. A lot of times we're so busy getting the task at hand done that we lose sight of a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on. When a disaster strikes, that's just yet another opportunity to show the power of the NeighborWorks Network. No matter what's going on in the world, we can find ways to solve it and put our best minds together and make some great things happen.